is the narcissist still thinking about you? Are they still thinking about the times you shared together? Are they thinking about where you are now and what you are doing? Narcissists tend to be obsessive. They tend to experience these dominating, all-consuming thoughts. Things that they can't let go of. And that is actually one of the main reasons why they behave in the way that they do. It's because they can't let things go. They hold grudges and resentment. Where they become fixated on certain people and things. To the point where it's all they can think about. They can't focus on anything else because this thing is dominating their minds. It's preventing them from moving on with their lives. And that is exactly what happens when you leave the narcissist. They haven't forgotten about the times you shared together. They are still remembering the places you used to go and the things you used to do. They are thinking about what you are doing now. If you have moved on with someone else. If you're happy. All of these things affect how they feel about themselves. If you've moved on and you're happy with someone else, they are going to be miserable. Because then it really reveals who the problem was in that relationship. If they could make you happy, if there were all of these problems when they were with you, And then you move on and you do better without them. It really doesn't make them look good. But they need to know if you are happy. Because that then determines what they are going to do next. They will stalk your social media or ask people about you. To find out what is going on in your life. If they know that you haven't moved on and you're not happy, that leaves an opening for them to come in. They can only prey on people who are missing something in their lives. That's how they lure you in. But if you have everything you need, you're not going to entertain a Hoover attempt. Because there's nothing that they can give you that you don't already have. So in these cases, you may not even get a Hoover attempt. They're not going to put themselves in a position to be rejected by you. They will only come back if they believe that you will let them in and if they believe that they can get something out of it. But even if they don't come back, they will still be watching from the shadows. They will still be thinking about you, wishing that they could be a part of your life again. Because if you've moved on, and done better without them. That's all they can really do. They can't come back unless you need something from them. But if you have everything you want. They're not relevant anymore. 
There's nowhere for you to accommodate them. There would just be a liability or expense. They would only make your life more difficult. And they know this. Which is why if you've moved on and done better for yourself, they're not going to come back. But they will still be thinking of you. And wishing that they could partake in everything that you have developed while they have been away. They are not thinking about you in a way where they care or have consideration for you. Narcissists are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They only care about themselves. They only care about their own interests and needs. They are only thinking of you because it benefits them in some way. They are getting something out of it. And that is the only reason why they will do anything. But when they are thinking of you, it really has nothing to do with you personally and everything to do with them. It has everything to do with what they have created in their own minds. From the moment you meet the narcissist, they become attached to you. At first they see you as someone who they admire, someone who they want to be like. But then they begin to realise that your qualities and traits cannot be theirs. They begin to realise that they cannot be you. And that is when the hate and resentment begins to build up inside of them. In their minds it is unfair. And they are far more deserving of what you have. They believe that it should belong to them. Once they get to this point and this way of thinking inside their heads, it's too late. There is no going back to how things used to be. Now all they are going to want to do is take everything you've got away from you and then beat you down for not handing it over to them in the first place. Because in their minds, it was unfair. In their minds, they were more deserving of what you had. And just by you being you, it was hurting them. It made them feel inferior to you. It made them feel insignificant. And they don't want to feel that way ever again. So that's when they begin to feel this need to have power and control over you. They have to dominate you. And force you to submit to their demands. Then the situation can play out in the way that they would like. But once you begin to break out of their control, that's when they show you who they really are. Because when you do that, you're showing them who you are again. You're showing them everything that you're about, everything they wish they were. And that causes a huge narcissistic injury. So from that point on, 
they only want to cause pain and misery to you. They only want to make your life hell. For everything you display to them. Everything they didn't have. Everything they wish they were. So they will enforce fly monkeys and start smear campaigns. They will stalk and harass you. They will do whatever it takes to make your life miserable. And although time may go by and you may not hear from them for a while, they are still thinking about you. They are still checking in to see if you are still suffering after everything they did to you. They want to see if you are still laying on the floor where they left you. And if they come back and they see that you are trying to get back up again. They will kick you back down until you finally stop trying and just give up and accept your fate. Because how they think about you. How they see you. Reflects on how they see themselves. And if you're up and about doing everything that you need to do, living your life to the fullest, it reflects on them and how powerless and insignificant they feel. And ever since that first injury, they decided that they don't want to feel that way ever again. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.